Kendrick yes. Mother yes. Lamar. Let's go! Kendrick Mother <laughs> Lamar finally uh, responded. Finally. He put out a record Relax. called Euphoria. No, it is It is finally. Is it finally? Yeah. Didn't he it's respond finally, faster man. than Does his that Drake matter to respond? Right now, that that still matter? Because you I, said I, earlier it doesn't matter no more. It don't matter to me, but I think it does matter. I think it does matter to some people. I think that this record right here hits way harder if it's delivered a week ago. Yes. Yeah, no, I, went, I wish it was. I really do. But, you know. I think, I think this... Why? Just because timing matters nowadays. And I can't stand all of these people that keep bringing up, well, Nas took three months to respond to Jay-Z when he put out Ether. Bro, that was 2000, 2000 or 99, 2000. Time was so different. Dang, everything was different. Time moves so... You know how, much, you know how long three months is nowadays? Three months is a lifetime. And, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> three months is three months. But three months is a lifetime in 2024. He didn't wait three months, though. How, how many days? Why are you pulling three months? How, let's do a calendar. How many days since uh, Push Up? I think it was about 17. It was 17. It was 13. Damn, man. And I think they said it took Drake 23 to respond to like that. So it took Drake 23 days to respond to like but Drake that. Drake was on tour. Who cares? What you mean? He's busy shit. on tour. It's it's not not shit. Only and guess what? Two. And Kendrick was busy raising his son. So now what? Y'all gotta stop. Yeah, See, this, it, crazy, I'm telling you, the bro. internet is crazy. This the way is... you can just manipulate people yes. and just make them believe whatever you say Wait, is all wild. She, all she said was Kendrick is busy raising his son. Is that not what he son? said? Listen, all of this is fun and games till Drake jump out there and say Kendrick out here fucking white women. Mm. Then what y'all gonna do? Well, guess what? Said. He already said that. He so it's not nothing. It don't matter. And worldwide, whatever. No, but he's not gonna be as lyricist as Kendrick. It's different when you hear it, it, it in a, it's, it's different when you hear it in a dish. You know how you know it's different? Because everything that Kendrick said in Euphoria has already been said. Yep. Yeah, but it's how he said it. And it's going to be how Drake says it, too. It's not, it's not Watch. I don't know. Right now, Kendrick has had the better delivery. Because guess what? When Kendrick can still go back at Drake like, well, guess what? My baby, my, my mom, and or wife is black. But you can say no, for yourself. No, technically she's white, He's according to you. According to you, according, according to, to you, she's according white. to you, she's white. And according, to, Ken, according to Kendrick, she's white. <laughs> yeah. How? Because Kendrick said if you have white, if you buy race, she half white? She's Latin. No, she's half white, half black. Now. Oh, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, but I'm riding with Alex. <laughs> 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 Alex, I don't believe you now. Alex, I believe you lying. We need to look that up. So exactly. I look it up? No. What? I don't believe that. But let's, let's Kendrick get... got white babies, bro. According to y'all. According Yo, to y'all. Don't disrespect. According, no, what's her according to him. What's her ethnicity? She's black. So she's of course ass. she's black. If you're, she, if you're biracial, I don't think she's. I know what she looks like, but she's, she's black. African American. Oh, it says she has African American ancestry from her father's side, and her mother is biracial. Oh, her mother's so biracial. She's black so, still, she's still so she's more majority, black. She's seventy five percent black. She's still more black though than oh, so what like, Drake is. Now we going about percentages now? <laughs> like that's yes, crazy. that matters. <laughs> so Drake is white, but his wife is black. You, well, since that's we're here, white since we're here, let's have the conversation. Okay. <laughs> I think it's funny that Drake. I mean, that people are calling Drake a white boy. I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny that you know Kendrick is playing that card. But let's be clear, he's a black man, guys. Yes. Like he, he's come on. Like, like the, the conversation isn't whether or not he's he's black. It's about is he cultured. Cole is more. Well, is he black cultured? Yes, I agree. But also, I think the line about I don't want to hear you say nigga no more is about how he says nigga because there's a video of Drake going around where he's like having a, com a casual conversation, but he says er. But Listen, but in a I've been but, told in a, but in a casual conversation, so I, it'd be like me being like, "Yo, that nigga right there." I done told like, y'all, Drake, J Cole, they should say "nig" because they have <laughs> black. I've been saying that for years. I've that been saying that. I'm not mad at this. Been said that. They should be <laughs> saying oh, "nig." Oh my god! If you Latino, biracial, bro. if you half white, you Latino. should not be allowed to say the whole word. I don't care if it's E R R G A at the end. You should have to say "nig." And that's it. Man, I'm with you, but since I moved to New York, I kind of had to bend to that rule because when in Rome and there's so many, exactly. like, Latin people here right. and even Asian people out here saying, nigga, that I can't really do anything about. But move, prior to moving here, like, that would never happen in Maryland. Man, Puerto Ricans in New York say nigga. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Mexicans in L.A. say nigga. That's, it's... If if, if 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 Drake can't say if Drake can't say nigga then let's we gotta let's really put the rules in place yeah. to who can't say it. I'm actually not mad if we do though because couple. 
I'm, but she can say something. You know what makes it worse? Why um, they're painting Drake as a white boy? Because when Pusha T exposed him with the blackface stuff, this looks more... I don't even think... The thing about... We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. It's just because... It's just funny. You don't... It ha- yeah, exactly. And you just don't have a cultural background. That's, that's all it's it's saying. And by the way, Kendrick said it in the song. He was like, I don't like when you say nigga. And then he goes, it ain't even that deep. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that he personally doesn't like. It's cringeworthy to him. I respect him for saying that. After seeing that clip of Drake saying it the way he says it, I don't really like it see, either. I gotta see that clip. Uh, let me, let me, I like this record a lot. He starts off... <laughs> By playing Richard Pryor from The Wiz backwards. Uh, Richard Pryor, this is when he gets exposed. And he's like, everything you're saying about me is true. I like that. And I like, I, like, I like the little Easter eggs people are putting in music because they know that we live in an era where folks are going to digest every word. I wish y'all had this back in the day when Missy Elliott did that. Because yeah. I still don't know what the fuck she was talking about. But... She's- I thought they Peach, said what it was already. Yeah. It was? Back, is was, it worth it? Let me work yeah. it. Oh, is that backwards? backwards oh, yeah. okay. And then, you know, I love how Kendrick starts it off nice and subtle, right? Here's yeah. the thing about this record. These aren't raps. This is a psychological yes. analysis of a man. And not just a man. A man who Kendrick Lamar feels hasn't grown up. Hasn't grown up, hasn't grown as an artist. Hasn't grown as a man. He even has a line in the song where he goes, I know you the boy, but I ain't seen the man yet. Yeah. That right there lets you everything. He, he could have he started that off in the beginning and let you know, uh, you know, where he's going with the direction of his record. Go back to the top, Taylor. Go back to the top. Go back to the begin- the very top. Them superpowers getting neutralized. I can only watch in silence. The famous act that we once knew is looking paranoid and now is spiraling. How many people do we know that we look at that are late 30s, 40 plus years old, and you can look at them spiraling? Like you can see it. You see it when they do interviews. Yeah. You see it when they on a podcast. You see it when they doing goofy shit on social media. And you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Yeah. Like that is a, a astute observation from a man who has a much more healed perspective than, than the person he's talking about. Then he says, you're moving just like a degenerate. Every antic is feeling distasteful. Calculate, you're not, turn, make it bigger, Taylor, because I can't see I you. I calculate, you know. you're not as calculated. Yes. I can even predict your angle. Mm. Fabrication stories on the family. Because you heard Mr. Morale. I love this line. The reason I love that line, because Kendrick is saying, y'all ain't got, you really, you don't got shit on me. Remember I was on the podcast saying, what are you going to say about Kendrick Lamar? Because Kendrick Lamar is literally all about the music. He's not on social media giving up his personal life. Yeah. So what can you say about him? Because he's f- almost flawless as an MC. So he was like, you're lying based on stories I told you on Mr. Morale. Mm-hmm. You're lying about them. A pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist. You a scam artist. Talking to him like he's Nigerian with the hopes <laughs> of being accepted. <laughs> this line is so hard. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but FUBU never has been in your collection. You never been for us by us. You not for us by us. Yeah. God damn. That was good. I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. That's that's a bar. That's another bar. That's a bar. That's another bar. I make music that actually means something. You make music for the dummies. Well, I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you a master manipulator and habitual liar too, but don't tell no lie about, about me, me and I won't tell no truth about you. you. That's nah, old he, grandma he, talk. That's, old, that's yeah, old black grandma that talk. <laughs> that's old black grandma from the South talk. Don't tell no lie about me and I won't tell truth about you. Now, what's this random acts of kindness line? People keep saying that meant something. That's crazy. So, Why? So pacify him could be a double entendre for Drake allegedly being with younger women. Why do y'all keep saying Drake dates young girls? Where is this shit coming from? Because when he like liked well, some actress who happened to be, I think, seventeen at the time. It was uh, you can't was like it a Lotto, No, I it mean, was Lotto's sister. That that's when she's twenty one. No, it was the actress. The, she's the still, one from, oh, from Euphoria. She grown. Yeah, that's you won't let your twenty one year old daughter date a Millie 40 Bobby year old. Drake ain't forty. Uh, what is he? Forty. Something Bobby Brown. What was it? I can't hear. Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, Lily How Bobby old Brown. Is Drake? She you was, know what? I don't even 
don't even care what this man doing, who he want to date. But what I do want to say is that I agree with you. I like how the tempo of the record is calm. Calm. Like, because I was nervous after uh, push-ups and then the AI record just because it was good. Yep. It, it was really good. And then my thing was like, dang, how does Kendrick even attack this? So I'm thinking, okay, he got to come with a hit record. Because like that's a hit record. Mm. I'm thinking Kendrick has to do that again. Yeah. But I like that he went in a completely different approach. And we said on this podcast, he can't sound angry. And we said that. He, we was like, yo, he cannot sound angry. But not only did he but not he sound, sound angry, angry like that. everything made me laugh. Like, every bar, I'm laughing as I'm listening to it. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. By the end of it, I'm like in tears laughing. Like, but, this but, shit is funny. But you have to do that nowadays because of the era we in. Sadly, your music has to, your music has to turn into a, 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 a your music has to take on a life of its own. Yeah. Meaning that once you put certain things out, people need to be able to get their content off. Mm -hmm. Can I go on a podcast and talk about this, you know, for a couple of hours? Can I turn this into memes? Yeah. Can I make this into witty captions? Yep. He he did that. Because I'm telling every half-breed I know, I don't want to hear you, you say, say nigga, nigga no, no more. more. In fact, even <laughs> light-skinned people, I'm telling you, what? I don't want to hear you say nigga no more. <laughs> there are certain people, I, I've used that term at least two or three times a day. I, I see people say things that I don't like, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to hear that person say nigga. Who said that to today? Don't worry about it. But I definitely, I definitely said it today. I saw somebody talk. Oh. I saw a clip of an interview, so and I was shady. like, I don't want to see that person say nigga no <laughs> so more, shady. yo. Like, let's go, Taylor. What else we gonna see? Let's see. What is that? Okay, now the beat changes, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't like this part that much, so it was necessary. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I like it. I like it because yeah. it's uh, cinematic. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I I'll reach it. Just done the shoe. It really is cinematic. Wow. Not just the, the BBB was like, cause, hey, cause it, he's like, he's taking you to another gear. The only thing that scared yeah. me about that part is I swear I was like, here come Baby Keem. I was yeah, like, right. I'm not, <laughs> not going to hear that nigga right now. <laughs> not Baby Keem. And I like Baby Keem, like but I don't want to hear that. I, I swear, I was like, if Baby Keem starts this shit off, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, please, not right now, Kendrick. But Leave wanna, your cousin at home in this add, moment. He want to add him. Not huh? to this. This one got Not to this. Him. I just didn't know. Yeah. You know, he was, he was sneaking Baby Keem on these records. I'm like, not right now. Yeah. Now, Kendrick. <laughs> And go ahead. Another point is that he dropped it on YouTube. You know, like this didn't go straight yeah, to DSP. Oh, really? So I, I kind of fuck with that because it's like you don't have to. Non traditional routes still matter. Yeah. And yeah. still count. Like you don't got to do the politics because I know people are saying that Drake and Kendrick are signed to the same label yeah. and that they're dealing with politics internally. We're trying to get things through. But it's like Kendrick dropped down his official YouTube page and I got it. Instantly. Well, yeah. I think he did that because he could control the time. I don't know if this is true, but everybody was saying he dropped it at 8.24 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true? I don't know. I didn't pay no attention. Say, so that's Kobe, that was for Kobe Bryant. I don't know if that's said. true. You know, the internet runs and says any damn thing. <laughs> so if he did that, he can control that. I don't know if you can necessarily control that on DSPs. Or, and I don't think people will notice the time if it drops on a DSP. True. 